What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football and today's video will be the full product review on the Grip Boost Glove Grip. You guys already saw the review on this and I'm just going to get into the testing. So, okay, so to start, so a couple things I really like about this product is of course the price. It's super cheap and it says one bottle will get you 60 uses and it breaks it down to around, I think it's around 10 cents per use. So, that's really cheap. Now, if I was going to compare this product to any other one, I'd say uh, uh, Under Armour Glove Juice or Gorilla, Glu uh, Gorilla Grip, anything like that. So that's basically just a comparison. Now, what it is is just this little gel. And so how it works is you put it on the gloves, let it dry for around 20, 30 seconds. I'll, of course, I'll show you uh, what to do. And then it's sticky. Uh, one thing that kind of is not good about it when I was testing it, uh, luckily I had some testing in all all other conditions, and when we were using it in uh, winter with snow, when there was snow in the ball, it uh, made the grip boost wet again, and it came off kind of on the ball of it, so that's why, you know, when they have you dry it at the start, it's sticky. But as soon as it gets wet again from, say, a ball, it's not the best. So that's one thing to look out for, maybe... Uh, I don't use gloves in any wet conditions anyways, except for my Nike Hyper Beast, because those are unreal gloves. But uh, So I'm going to test this with a whole bunch of different types of gloves. So to start off, I have Nike VaporJet 2.0, Cutters Rev Pro. Uh, this is a really weird material on the Under Armour Combat 3. Watch out for the review coming soon. Uh, so, because this is a really uh, not sticky glove, it's not at all, there's no tack on it. You can't grab a ball with these gloves on, so I'm going to try it on these. See if you guys can make these into a nice sticky glove. Under Armour Combat 2s. And finally, Nike Hyper Beast 3, uh, 2.0s. I don't have any Vapor Jets anymore. I sold my white pair, and uh, my the red pair you guys saw, those are my friend Evans. So, I don't really have any of those anymore. Luckily, it is all the same grip as the Nike... It's the Magna Grip as the 2.0 anyways, no grip change, so shouldn't really affect anything like that. Also, I'm going to try it on just my bare hands and see how that helps with the ball. So without further ado, let's start. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do the receiver gloves. First one I'm going to start with is the Nike Paper Jet 2.0 and a Cutters Rev Pro. Beach. So, just to start off, we'll see with it here. I can get it to around right here. So, about that white line and start to fall a bit, as you can see. With this Cutters Rev Pro, it's around right there. Let's see if I can do it anymore. Right there. Okay, let's do some testing. So, all you should do you take a dime size amount. That rub it on. As you can see, definitely makes it really shiny and dry. All right, first one, Tyrus glove. Guess it's just ooh. So a little less, or I mean the same amount, really here. Maybe just a lack of my grip, okay. But of course when you, you can see the coating it leaves, how shiny it is on there. When you do it together, it's really sticky. Uh, go check out their Instagram, they've even posted some videos, say people just throwing the gloves on mirrors and that kind of stuff, and it's really good. So before we had it around right here with these gloves. Now let's see how much more we can do. Right there. Nice. Okay, so definitely an improvement. Of course, so that's a Nike. Got a Magna Crit, SeaTac. Do the Under Armour Grip. I wish I could test it with a Adidas grip, but I don't have those gloves anymore. You know, a lot of rotating. Do it with that. Then we'll do it with a Hyper Beast. Ok, 
Okay, these are two different gloves. I don't know if these feel. Okay, so with these really worn down gloves, about that white line, these are a little tougher to get both be ready for that. Okay, now let's put some grip boost on. Not as much for that. Okay, now let's try this again. Alright, a centimeter of improvement. And right here. Ooh, that's really good. Look at that. So, the two I'm going to be trying here now are the two least grip like out of all of them. We have the Combat 3 Under Armour Glove, and we have my hand. So the test with this glove, can't even get any grip at all. My fingertips, we'll say about right there, about a centimeter and a half above the white line. I've never tried it on my hands before. On the back of the bottle, warning, keep for external use only, product is inflammable, keep away from flame or fire, do not drink. Keep away from eyes, eye contact, flush eyes through water, keep out of reach of children. Okay, so it says nothing about putting it on your skin, so that's good. I'm going to put a generous amount on. Let's see what it does to these gloves and my hand. Alright. Ooh, it's a nice tingly feeling. All right. Now, Still, not a lot of improvement with this. Kind of just soaks in with this, so it's not particularly helpful with that. And it doesn't hear it a little bit. It definitely feels a little different. And it's roughly about the same. So there you go, I've tried with almost every brand, uh, really with a traditional lemon glove it is a good accent. Uh, the nice thing with this is, of course it is only $10, uh, also offered on their site uh, apart from the Grip Boost is uh, some of their clothing. So of course you do have this Grip Boost shirt which they're generous enough to send me, thank you. Also they have their great Grip Boost hoodie which I really like. The thing I like about the hoodie is I'm using it to work out right now and for the next level to play college I'm switching from lineman to uh, uh, fullback just because I'm only around 5'11 so I'm a little short for a uh, college level lineman and so with that I'm trying to get down to around 215 so lose around 10-15 pounds and so it's a great hoodie to wear while I work out I really like it, it's super comfortable so yeah uh, of course go check out their website, I'll link to that also um, if you haven't go check out my Instagram at lineman football, I just registered the Twitter at lineman football and I have the Facebook uh, type of line of football. So uh, I'm starting to you know, look in more at those. Of course, my really heavy one is my Instagram. But also now, I have my website up. Now, uh, linefootball.com, of course. I got that domain a long time ago, just in case. And I finally got the website put together. Uh, all my reviews are uploaded to there, as well as YouTube. So you can check them out either place. Also, uh, my store is launching soon, which will... One of my main products right now is my Lemon Football Bumper Stickers, uh, coming soon, available in three different colors. So you'll see those, uh, of course you've seen that on my Instagram. And I'm also starting a Lemon Football Forum blog on the website. Uh, it's going to be a place where we can all talk and give tips and that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working to get that coming soon. So if you go in the, there right now, it just says coming soon. I'm working on it, I'm trying to work, uh, get it out as fast as possible and get the store going. So uh, go check out all my stuff, and uh, thanks.